I am Mary Fry. I'm 32 years old and I was born with cystic fibrosis. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I've been hard at work this morning. See all these fall corn color sweatshirts. At least that's what Mary calls them. I think I listed them as mustard color on our online store. I've been working on. I put all the tags inside. We got our little Fry Life labels. And uh, I'm going to get back to work on putting the design on the front of them a little later. I got to go run to a meeting. Mary this afternoon is teaching a course via Zoom. I think, is this one Alaska? No, this is Canada. Canada. Teaching a course in Canada. It's like a grad school course. And she she does it for uh, this, this class in this grad school program. She talks about cystic fibrosis. She's been doing it for a few years now. I'm trying to find her computer so I can get her set up for Zoom before I run to my meeting. So, cool, 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 cool. But good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day. It's kind of cool, so I got the flannel on. We have the windows open. Mary is, momentarily. you're gonna get up momentarily. <laughs> okay, Ollie's got all the lounging vibes going on. We call this the four paw pile up if you're new around here. Or hog tie. Or hog tie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> our animals make us laugh. Oh, tell them about the jelly incident of 21. Okay, we don't have a whole ton of food, so I was gonna make peanut butter and jelly for lunch. And we have this homemade peach jelly. Did your mom make it? Yes. Okay. It's so incredible. It is really good. And I was going to make peanut butter and jelly. And I, I went to put the jelly on my sandwich. <laughs> and I didn't realize that the jelly is kind of um, liquidy. And so I turned... <laughs> I turned the jar like upside down because I was gonna like scrape some out with the knife But when I turned it upside down, it just poured out onto the bread and uh, So I was I like happened to be looking at that moment. It was hilarious So I made Mary a peanut butter and jelly as well because I had plenty of jelly on my plate <laughs> All right, I got the dishes done and I have 30 minutes until my Canadian call, teaching call. I don't know what to call it, but um, I was trying to remember if this is the third or fourth. I think this might be the fourth year I've done that call and I love doing it. So I'm excited, but I wanted to like do something. As you saw, I was in that recliner and I needed to get up, so I got up. But I am going to make some food. <laughs> there we go, I made it. I'm just chopping up carrots, celery, and onion because I have frozen some rice that I previously made and froze, some shrimp, and some veggies. So I'm gonna make fried rice later. So I thought I'd just go ahead and chop the veggies before my call. So then whenever we are ready for dinner, we can just throw it all in a pan and, and serve the dinner. And I've determined I am not going to make a ginormous pan of fried rice. There are only two people who are eating it. So I restrained myself and I'm only chopping up one carrot, one stalk of celery, and one 
the smallest onion we have. And I deserve a gold star because I'm so tempted to chop up multiple carrots and multiple, you know, all the things. But just doing one of each. All right, the veggies are ready for later. And now I'll just clean this up. I already did the dishes. Great. Oh, my eyes are burning. <laughs> that onion it really does a number on my eyeballs. All right, the next thing I, I have 19 minutes until the class starts. I need to go put on a new Dexcom sensor, but that, that only takes me a couple minutes. So I'm gonna go do that and then I will be ready for my class. In the last two years, I've been doing most of my classes, like Zoom calls to classes or speaking engagements and that sort of thing from that side of the table. So I guess now it's just my, my rhythm. So if I ever consider teaching from a different spot in the house, it like throws me off. So I always imagine I'm just gonna sit at the end of this table. Okay, Dexcom is warming up and I have a minute before I click this like here we go let's go to Canada <laughs> that was cheesy I'm okay with that strawberry fields forever why am I singing the Beatles song strawberry fields forever out of nowhere okay it's three o'clock this is Mary Fry the one and only who I've been talking about so we're so thankful to have you here to talk to us today. We just did the quickest lecture ever about um, resp the respiratory tract. Okay. And then I made everybody go up and down the stairs a few times and breathe through a straw to give them an idea of what it might be like to have um, issues with your lungs and your breathing and, and what that might feel like. So they just <laughs> finished that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Same deal as always, Mary has come and spoke to our class for the last few years in a row. Um, these students are recreation therapy uh, students looking to go into the field um, and uh, looking to hear your story and your wisdom and your advice for them as professionals, and they'll probably have some questions for you as well. Awesome. Yeah, feel free to jot down any questions that come to mind, big questions, little questions, whatever. Um, CF specific or patient perspective, whatever, whatever comes to mind. I'm an open book, so ask away. Um, Shannon, should I just start with like my life story and CF stuff and? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's do it. So I am Mary Fry. I'm 32 years old and I was born with cystic fibrosis. Everybody wave, say hi. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I wish you could have heard everybody. Um, they were all so nice, but they all waved at the camera. I hope you could see that. Okay, I finished the class, and I heard Peter got home while I was teaching. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great. It was awesome. They had great questions, and Good. that was great. How you doing? Good. Wow, wowzy. Is it like a mustard explosion in here? It is a very mustard explosion. It's no. awesome. You're doing great. Thanks. We ran a couple of errands and got some groceries. We're making a couple meals for friends. Actually, I need to run back out to one more grocery store. I'm going to smoke some pork butts. It's kind of a nice way to make a lot of food at once. Is I'm going to overnight smoke... I think oh, we'll do three pork butts and we have a few families that we'll give some meals to and that we'll make pulled pork out of it. Hi Ollie boy, we missed you. Reunited with your My little animals. animals. Mary prepared dinner for us. Well, she prepared all the ingredients for us to make fried rice, shrimp fried rice. So we've got some raw shrimp, frozen uh, rice, which actually cold rice works best in fried rice, so that'll work well. And she cut up some carrots 
celery and onions sizzling that up we'll add it together we'll add some like fried egg in it and it's gonna be delicious Scram it's like scrambled fried. Oh, you ready for dinner, buddy? You ready for dinner? This this recipe says, crack the eggs into a small bowl and beat them together. Really? Whenever I make it, I will do like that. Crack an egg in there and then go like this. Yeah. And so it's a uh, scrambled egg. Okay, okay, all but right. Everybody's different. Different strokes for different folks. Um, okay, good news, guys. We have some really good news. We bought more puzzles. Last night we did, was it a 300? I think it was a yeah. 300. It was the perfect amount to sit down, watch, I don't know, an hour of TV or something like that, do a puzzle. So we bought another 300 and we bought a 500 as well. So. I think we're going to do this one tonight. We've been sitting in our bedroom with the card table and doing we, a puzzle and watching Last show. night, it was a game changer. We brought in, we have some floor lamps for the working room. Uh, and our lighting in our bedroom isn't great, which isn't bad it's a most bedroom. of the time. Yeah. Except for when you're doing a puzzle. And we brought that light in and we were like, oh, oh, why did we not yes. do this sooner? <laughs> So that makes puzzle doing tonight just that much more exciting. And we also bought the world's largest bag of popcorn. There's no way this video can portray how big this is. I guess, here, let me give you a full, full length shot here. So this is me. This is the popcorn. <laughs> Does that help? It's like. A third of me. Anyway, I'm five foot four inches. If you were ever curious, Peter is five foot ten inches. So there you go. Boom. You're amazing. Well, I haven't tasted it yet. Okay, so true. We should... You're still amazing no matter how this tastes. <laughs> oh, it's warm. Warm, warm, warm. Yeah, I will say. Ooh, hot. You know. Nice. In my mind, I was making a fried egg, but it does kind of turn into scrambled egg. Uh, um. I'll admit. <laughs> it's good. All right, I ran to the grocery store, picked up a couple pork butts. I am now going, they, I put them on like an hour and a half ago. I'm going to put some, I have this grill spray bottle that I'm gonna put some apple cider vinegar <laughs> in and spray the pork butts what it does is as the meat smokes in the smoker the surface of the meat when you spray it it cools down the surface which allows uh, it to absorb more smoke and not uh, get too dark um, before because uh, it obviously it's, it's gonna cook all night. It'll probably take like 18 hours before these pork butts are done. So by spraying them with the apple cider vinegar, it helps form the bark on the outside of the meat. So let's go do this. It's puzzle time. Here's our little light set up. And uh, we watched a documentary and this is a fun little painting Aww. puzzle that we're working on. I feel like 300 pieces is a good number for us to complete in a couple of hours watching a show. As always, we'll see you tomorrow. That's our night. Mm -hmm. Good night, guys. Good night, Poodle Noodle. Good night. See you tomorrow.